If there is one thing that every single organization has, it is prospects. Some teams use their prospects for trading chips. Some use their whole farm to make great players in their system. As you've seen this year, we have drafted, we have traded for trade prospects. Right now, I'm basically gonna go over top 10 prospects right now in the Royals organization for my franchise. Enjoy. <laughs> I wanted to give pretty much everyone a shout out. So Mike Gigliotti did not make the top 10 prospects list, but he is really, really good. He's super fast and he's hitting 309 in the minors. He's showing a little bit of power. He, right now he's doing leadoff spot in AAA, but he's playing very, very well. The only thing keeping him kind of from coming up and seeing playing time is that the outfield positions are pretty loaded right now. Next guy is another guy he shares the outfield with, and that is Marcus Wilson. Marcus is pretty quick, 75 speed, contact is raising pretty well. He does pretty well hitting home runs, but it's not his main focus. And White, doing pretty good. He's close to the top 10, but I couldn't put him on the top 10. He's got great contact and great power, but we're just not seeing the numbers yet down in the minors. Evan White. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. And yes, same thing here. Just not seeing the numbers right yet to be able to bring him up to see playing time, especially with O'Hearn playing so well. No, no need for a first baseman to bring up right now. Tyler Johnson is one of the guys in the bullpen that is close to the top 10. He's probably our best bullpen guy right now, but he's in the minors because he needs to get his command down. Because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And this Akil Badu is another outfielder that is close to the list, but right now he's not on our big target list because he just can't see playing time. He's got 78 speed. He's very, very decent. He has decent contact, but he's got a lot of work on. Our number 10 guy is Mickey Moniak. He plays center field for us. He's got decent contact. He's got decent power. The speed is there at 75. He's playing really, really well. He's hitting in the in and around the 300s right now. But what I like, want to see more is a little bit higher on contact versus left and power versus left. And he's a guy who's been absolutely terrific over the last couple of series. Really swinging it well. Hitting 282 right now. Bunch of home runs. He's going to add another one here. We know he has the power to be able to hit home runs versus righties. The problem is when he's versing lefties, he doesn't have that power. He doesn't have that contact. So that's something we want to work on him with before he gets up to the majors. The number nine prospect is Xavier Edwards. We traded for him. We love what he brings to the table. He's got that super fast speed at 87, but he's behind Mondi and Nicky Lopez at shortstop. So Xavier might see some playing time at second base in the future. He's doing pretty well. He's hitting 226, which isn't great, but he has a few years. He's very young, but he's one of our top prospects right now. Number eight prospect, Josh Naylor. He may be called up this year, if not for sure next year, starting out the season. He has contact pretty high, power pretty high. Doesn't really, isn't really a fast guy at 35, 21 years of age from Canada. Definitely getting close to seeing some playing time at 67 overall. And you're coming unglued first pitch. Hitting 299 in the minors, 13 home runs, and 41 RBI. So he's got the power, he's got the contact. Pretty much ready for the majors, but right now, because of who we have in the majors, he's kind of taking a back seat. Coming in at number seven is Vioria. I don't know really how to pronounce his first name, so I'm not even going to try. We're seeing some pretty good progression here. He's definitely a fielding or defensive catcher. He's not a catcher that's going to hit for a lot of power. He's not a catcher that's going to hit high average. But as you can see from his arm strength, his arm accuracy, the blocking, the reaction, he's a very, very good defensive player. And I think he's a very good pivotal part once Salvador leaves. Now at the plate, number 22, he brings an average.
Nick Prado comes in at our number six right now. He would be probably higher because he is hitting very, very well in the minors. However, he is again behind Ryan O'Hearn, so the playing time isn't really there. He showed some really good contact and really good power. Speed, not really worried about it since he's a first baseman. But right now he's in about 260, hitting in the meat of the lineup in the mains. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Lopez comes in at our number five prospect right now. He's right behind Mondesi. If Mondesi gets injured or something, Nicky Lopez might see some time this year. His contact is, you know, decent. 56 isn't bad. The 49 isn't great. He's not going to be a power guy. Mondesi's kind of been hitting for power lately. But this guy, Nicky Lopez, a great defensive shortstop. You can see the defensive stats there with the arm strength, the fielding, stuff like that. Right now he's hitting 236 in the minors. So again, not going to be a contact guy. Not going to hit for a high average. Number four prospect is Sixto Sanchez. We got him from a trade, and he's one of our top prospects. He's got that 97 mile an hour four seam fastball. He's got great velocity. Stamina, we would like to see go up a little bit. It's only a 75, but the strikeouts per nine is up at a 70. Control 56, we'd like to see that higher, but he's a great player right now. Right now, he's only throwing at a 5.36 ERA, which isn't great. He's giving up a lot of walks compared to strikeouts, but 82 strikeouts in 84 innings. So we know, we know he can get the strikeouts. He just needs to fit in and find his control. Throwing that four seam up at 99 miles an hour, almost impossible to hit. And then he hits it with that 12-6 curve. Coming in at number three is Matthew Libertor. Another starting pitcher. He's got stamina of 70. So I could actually see him going in kind of the bullpen role if we ha need to have him there. I'd love to see that go up. He's only 19 years of age, so he has plenty of time to increase his stamina. He throws 93 mile an hour four seam fastball and an 88 mile an hour sinker, which gets a lot of Matthew ground balls. Lieberthal, the lefty from Arizona, the minors, he's throwing 5.56 five, five, ERA. The 81 innings pitch ERA compared to the 69 the strikeouts right kind of tells you about how he pitches. He's definitely a contact one guy. One he's not eight, really a strikeout guy, but here's strikes. a strikeout here showing you that he definitely can strike, strike out people. He loves that high fastball. He strikes out guy on it there. 95 is what he now touches with his four seam. Right number two guy, Alec Bohm, close to our number one guy as a prospect. Right now he's a 67. Again, the only reason he's not seeing playing time is Dozier is up in that third baseman position. I'm guessing Alec Bohm will be either in at the end of the year or we might wait until next year and put him in at that third base. He's definitely one of our number best two. players, definitely he our best fielder time. at this point. Here's a little bit of how he hits. Going to our number one prospect, Shane Baz. Obviously, 19 years of age, already a 66 overall, a potential, 88 stamina, 98 velocity. He has every single thing you need in a starting pitcher. 94 mile an hour running fastball, which is a lot better than just a four seam. It runs and moves. He throws a cutter, he has a slider. Looking at his stats, 3.14 ERA in 129 innings is 119 strikeouts to 58 walks. So he's definitely got that K to walk ratio up high. Anything he basically throws can be thrown and used as a strikeout. So that's why he is our number one prospect because he has so many pitches he can strike batters out with. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. Go ahead and comment down below on who you think our number one prospect is, whether you agree with me that it is Shane Baz, or if you think it's another player, or if you want to critique the top 10, go ahead and do so down below. Till next time, slacker out.